Hello everyone, bonjour. Welcome to episode number four of Tasting with Julian, aka the Social Vignerons Wine Tasting Show. I'm your host, Julian Miquel. Yes, that's Miguel with a Q, but Julian is the first name. Today, we're tasting Pinot Noir wines from California. Domaine Carneros is most famous for its sparkling wine. The house was actually founded uh, by the Tetinger Champagne House in partnership with the co brand, um, the importer, wine importer into the US. Domaine Carneros is based in the Carneros uh, AVA, south of Napa Valley, and that's an area where the Bay of San Francisco and more precisely the Bay of San Pablo pushes some cold breezes so there's a cooling influence uh, coming from the ocean and from, from the bays uh, which allows to grow uh, successfully cold climate grape varieties such as Pinot Noir and Chardonnay. So today we're looking specifically at Domaine Carnero's Pinot Noir production. Um, both of those are 2015 vintage. The first wine is Domaine Carneros Estate uh, Pinot Noir, 40 US dollars. So let's have a look at this baby. It's got a nice vibrant um, red color. The aromatic profile is definitely dominated by fruit characters. Um, there's lots of raspberry, crisp, rich, juicy uh, red berry aromas. In a lot of berries. <laughs> Distinctively citrusy. There is also white pepper, hint of vanilla, clove, so you can sense that this wine has gone through 10 months of aging in French uh, oak barrels. On the palate, this is a very juicy and vibrant um, Pinot Noir. But I wasn't expecting so much acidity and so much freshness um, out of California. The whole feels lively and, and fresh and exciting. The body is relatively light, tannins are, are very soft, so really well made wine. Uh, I think for $40, $40 you really have um, a good wine uh, for, for your money. This to me is a 90 out of a 100 point wine. It's really definitely getting into this 90, 90 plus wines where things really get interesting. It's the famous gate, uh, 2015. Um, so this is a further selection of, of grapes that have performed uh, particularly well during that vintage uh, that are put together to make this special cuvee. This retails for about $80 uh, or ex seller at the winery, it's $80. So we're talking double the price of the estate Pinot Noir. Let's find out whether it's worth double the price. Certainly straight away, the color appears denser, more intense um, than, than the estate. This one is a bit more restrained. It's a little less talkative. Uh, it's finer as well. It has more finesse. The fruit character here is riper. Dark cherry, a lot of nutmeg, Slightly oaky, the oak is a lot more present. This stays in wine barrel for 15 months. If you are a wine connoisseur, an amateur, and you, you love analyzing wine, and you love analyzing layers and layers of depth into your wine, here you will find the fruit, the berry fruit, the, gra the, grape, the grapefruit, the citrus, but you will also find many, many layers of spices and after that, many layers of oak, vanilla, caramel, uh, some coffee. Yes, this is double the price, but you can spend three or four times longer analyzing it and enjoying it. 91 plus out of 100 point wine. Certainly the estate Pinot Noir for 40 bucks gets you in the universe where Pinot Noir universe where things start to get really interesting. For $80, $80 you are getting the whole package, the refinement, of the old world, the generosity of California and the new world in the Pinot Noir. I will see you soon in the wine world. Cheers. very 
fresh um, and lively to smell. That's a, a descriptor that not many people use for Pinot Noir, but that I personally find very often. Grapefruit and citrus and a hint of lemon. Domaine Carneros covers about 350 acres uh, of vineyards surrounding uh, their classic uh, chateau uh, style building. A vibrant, quite exciting, uh, fresh and tempting fruity wines featuring loads of berries, lots of citrus. Surprised by the refinement um, and the juiciness and the crispness of the acidity that features in these wines. They are richer, leave me a comment uh, down below. If you are not subscribed to the channel, please do. There will be more and more episodes of The Tasting Show coming soon. I will try to post two or three times a week, so plenty for you to follow up well.